micromanage you, you know what I'm saying? Tell you right from wrong. You smart, but who's a fool? What you tend to use for which fool? Like, I got a schedule of things to Spend the whole ripping it down I'm going on like a sword in six days I'm actually on my way to the nearest hospital I just spoke with my midwife I should have recorded that but I just spoke with my my midwife uh, one of them that's on duty um, she told me she would rather me get evaluated than to have preterm labor so I'm actually waddling as comfortable as I can be to the nearest hospital <clears throat> I brought my charger and all that just in case I'm there for a while um, my little brother he's gonna go pick the kids up from school well when they come home he's gonna be in the house so he's gonna pick them up from the bus while I get evaluated she said hopefully I'm out of here and on my way home by 5 so we're gonna go and do that. Um, I think I'm gonna stop at CVS and get a bottle of water too. Cause they do take a while to give you some water in there. I don't think I'm gonna wait. I don't know where that water comes from. I don't trust hospitals, I'm sorry. I'm one of those people. So I told you guys I wanted to document everything in my pregnancy. I'm gonna document. You guys saw me earlier, I've been having cramps since like 8 this morning. It's now 12, about to be 1-ish, and they have not stopped. So I'm going to go get evaluated, make sure baby's not coming like she said. No way, tripping when that dick is barely third place. Fucked out of pity, it's cute that you lame. Still cause it's mad, I can fake like it's hell. are killing me. Let's hope the baby doesn't come out. Alright guys, so my phone is dying, but so far, so good. No baby today, because my cervix is still closed. Baby is turned over though, upside down, ready to go. So, no more mystery on if baby flipped already. I'm still kind of feeling a little bit of cramps but hopefully my midwife is right and I'll be out of here by like 5 because I still have to cook dinner still gotta be mom so they told me they might hook me back up to this beautiful machine right here check on baby listen to the heartbeat what so far so good I don't think I'm gonna have a baby today and that was the main thing I was worried about because this is not the birth that I want to have. That ass. Oh, what a 31 week update, right? So I'm gonna still find out that even though I had an ultrasound today, if I still have to go tomorrow and get another one. So we'll see, I might not even have to go to my appointment. <clears throat> Stay tuned. The next day. 
Grand and high rising, guys. I don't know if I should say welcome back to my channel or we're just gonna continue on from yesterday. But today is my ultrasound. I am now 32 weeks officially. So we're gonna go and check on baby's growth. Even though I got to see baby last night uh, in the labor and delivery ER, I still get to see baby again today. So we're heading to Union Square on this cold morning, but I feel warm as hell in my pinkaholic suit. I definitely will leave you the link in the bio for you guys to get it. This shit is warm as hell in this New York weather. So I stopped by my favorite deli, got some breakfast because me and baby are hungry and I didn't have enough time to cook myself breakfast like I did potato this morning. So we just stopped and got something really quick. Now, I'm on my way. <laughs> and then after that, no more appointments until December 7th. That's my next prenatal appointment. And also I have um, like a dress rehearsal thing where the birthing center basically puts you in a class to let you know what you should take when you're going to give birth at a birthing center. Cause it's not like, you know, packing your hospital bag when you're going to the hospital. So I'm gonna make our ways cause it's actually not too far from here. We're gonna take one train, yay. And we should be there on time because y'all know me. I'm never on time. <laughs> it don't have to be perfect. I feel like it's worth it. I know now that I've been the So there's a sign on the wall that says you're not allowed to record in here. I guess while the ultrasound's going. <clears throat> Let me tell y'all, the amount of tears I'm trying to hold back now. Now I'm a really small person, you know what I'm saying? Not too small, not like four feet, but I'm pretty small. So I don't really have big babies. <sighs> so I'm a little worried because the text said that the baby's a little small. Normally I don't worry because Nico came out six pounds. Potato came out six pounds and y'all see how big they are. And Nico was a pretty big baby along the way, like as breastfeeding went on. So, like I said, I wanna capture everything that I'm going through in this pregnancy. I'm just waiting for the doctor to come in and explain the images, but Last time I was here, she told me baby was right on time, you know, growth work, growth wise, sorry. I'm just nervous. So, you know. All right, so now that I'm done and I'm done boo-hoo crying for a little bit, I'm gonna go to the bank. I have to open up a bank account for Nico and I do have to deposit a check I'm just like so worried that I'm gonna have two babies with the same problems but when you guys saw that I cut the last one the last part the doctor came in she told me that the baby's brain looks and is measuring way above the 10th percentile which potato was underneath the 10th percentile she had microcephaly so oh, this baby doesn't. I'm relieved. Put some money on my yeah, Okay, I went to the bank. I have to get my medicine, but I have to pee. So, we have a dilemma right now. I'm like, medicine or pee first, then medicine. decided to go pick up my meds. That way, from 
the pharmacy. I could just go straight home. Killed a couple of birds with one stone. Today I can start my meds. Um, I don't know, did I tell you guys? I don't know. Well, after I got discharged, well before, they let me know that the contractions were brought on by an infection in my urine. So that's why I have to go pick up the meds to clean it up. She said it's about five days. And then on the seventh, I have an appointment with my midwives. That's my prenatal appointment. And then it's funny because the next day I got an ultrasound appointment from where I just came. Busy, busy. So I'm just glad that I'm doing what I need to do to take care of the end of my pregnancy. Today I'm 32, that means I got about eight more weeks left. Within these eight weeks, baby can grow a little bit more. Um, I was only like literally having a small meltdown because when I was at this stage with potato, she already developed microcephaly. If you guys don't know what microcephaly is, it's when your baby's head is smaller than their body and inside of the brain also has abnormalities which was a big sign that something was wrong before she was born so that's why she has to go through so many tests now so uh, when she told me that you know baby's head was measuring a little small on certain sides it kind of freaked me out a little bit because I was like, here we go again. You know, as a parent, you don't want your kids to suffer two times. Even though you guys see Potato, she's a happy kid. She's not suffering. It's just, I. it's hard to be a mom or to be mom, period, and watch your kids go through that. So... Had a little breakdown with the doctor but she was she's a very great doctor she reassured me you know that she wouldn't let me keep thinking that things were okay knowing that they aren't so i'm grateful for her she's gonna have me come in every week after my next one so she said once i pass 34 i'll be coming every week so that way they can keep checking on baby's head and brain to make sure that what they saw was correct.